let's look at what we can do with dates and with now especially so we are going to look at get now how to how do you get your current date you simply do date time dot now date time is the class and dot now uh, now is the static function on it that gives you the current date time so let's run in this and see I'm going to save it and I'm going to run node and text.js that gives me the object of current date time right it gives me milliseconds for ts and let's look into how do I subtract now minus a date in the past right something like if you want to get date of birth uh, age of a person you might use this so what I'm going to do is date time class uh, dot now which gives me the current date dot difference dot diff diff is the function that uh, is uh, so date time dot now obviously gives an object of date time and diff is a function that allows you to subtract right so you need to pass in a date so I'm going to pass in a date so I'm creating date time is the class and again I'm using a static function from ISO to create a date I'm passing in a date in the past 2010 eighth month and 10 is the date so a date from 2010 I've passed into from ISO method from ISO takes this num the, this text and converts it into a date time format date and returns a date time object right so uh, this will give me a difference between now and this particular date let's run this and see so as you can see here I'm getting a um, I haven't saved yet so let's clear the screen and run it again yeah now you can see I can I get a duration an object of duration it returns me an object of duration this difference this returns me an object of duration and this is the du difference in milliseconds right so let's look further if I want to reverse it right now I've done current date minus past date if I do past date minus current date how will that perform let's look into that let's console log at date time dot from ISO I'm passing the date so this gives me a date time object of this particular date and now I'm taking a difference between current and that did so diff now is another function that another method that give, instead of passing now within diff I can use diff now this takes by default the current time okay so let's save this and try to run this so here it has I've got an object duration object this time I'm getting the same number but with a negative connotation to it because I am subtracting past date from current date right so I'm getting a negative from it now let's go further and subtract now with future date right now minus future date so date time dot now dot diff uh, and I'm passing in a future date this time so let's save this and see what would that return so here I'm getting again an object of duration but negative because I'm subtracting current date of a future date from current date right so if I do it reverse it will be a positive number if I do it current date minus future date it will give me a negative number of milliseconds right similarly let's do that future date minus now reverse it future date right uh, date time dot from ISO I pa uh, pass in a date in the future dot diff now diff now gives the current date right so 
it subtract let's run this it will give me a positive number you can see here it's giving me a positive number in milliseconds similarly if I do uh, date time so diff now you have we have seen here now uh, we have seen here how to use diff if we want to pass in some date we can pass in any date to diff but if I want to pass current date instead of passing the current date I can simply use diff now diff now is a separate function for it all right see you in the next video